Hello, my name is Clay Robson. And I'm Nathan Worth. And uh, we're going to be talking about a painting today by Jane Quick to see Smith, which is called Trade Gifts for Trading Land with White People. The reason we chose this painting was because of the way Smith had portrayed her feelings about um, Native American cultural appropriation by American society when uh, they colonized and kind of took over Native American space. And uh, we just thought it was really interesting the way that Smith portrayed this in her piece through different collage and memorabilia and pop art and just all these different ways that she combined her work to make it look the way it does. Starting with the formal analysis, the canvas is used with oil paint and mixed media collage. Smith mainly uses a combination of movement, color, texture, and a variety in her work. Smith uses a downward motion in all of her brush strokes, almost all of her brush strokes, with newspaper articles and comic book pages scattered between them. Almost all of the strokes and lines are in a downward motion, whether it's the paint strokes, canvas creases, or the objects draped above the canvas. The one thing that's different is the canoe. It adds curvature with no straight lines and is placed front and center of the piece. The three canvas panels that form together into one giant canvas and the canoe add a center point for the eye to focus on. Smith uses the allotted space on the canvas to portray the number of objects she has to display and uses these little the little and uses little to no white space making her piece very busy among the busy canvas there's a large variety of mediums used on the pieces including a combination of paint collage and pop art to bring the piece together the objects placed above the canvas give a sense of scale to the piece by looking at the objects above and the papers spread across, the viewer can get a better understanding of how big the canvas below is. The surface of the canvas looks rough due to the paint or glue used to hold the paper and objects on the canvas together, giving it a unique texture upon viewing. So moving on to the historical analysis, um, this painting was made in 1992 by Smith and it's on display in Virginia at the Chrysler Museum currently. Um, so looking at a bit of Smith's backstory, she grew up on a reservation of the Flathead Nation and she attended college in 1974, which was kind of a time when women weren't taken as seriously as artists in America. And uh, even though she was acknowledged as the best in her class. Um, in an article um, by Khan Academy, um, it stated that her instructors told her that no woman could have a career as an artist. But regardless, Smith proved everyone wrong and received a master's degree in fine arts. Um, uh, as inspiration um, for her work, Smith used artists such as Kurt Schwitters and Robert Rauschenberg, um, who used really strange objects such as like wrappers or pieces of paper, comic book pages, different things like that inside their work to give it a unique look. And uh, according to the article from Khan Academy, she also has curated over 30 exhibitions to promote other Native artists, which points back to how she tends to portray Native culture in her own art. So it's really cool to see that she's not only making that art, but she's also encouraging other artists to do the same. And uh, Smith's artistic talents gave her an opportunity to express her feelings about her, the history of her people and what happened to them. Next is the contextual analysis. Smith's intent with this painting is to represent the effects of American colonization. She presents this through the articles and memorabilia displayed across the piece. One thing that's interesting is the canoe that's right in the middle of the painting signifies this symbol of trade. The use of pop art within the painting slash collage displays the pop culture icons used in the memorabilia along the top of the painting in a negative context. Pop art is traditionally used to elevate popular figures and objects almost to a re religious extent to display our culture's obsession with pop art. However, Smith doesn't elevate these figures but expresses her feelings of sadness towards the use of the trinkets above being sold to buy back their stolen land as the Chrysler Museum describes it. 
Rather than lifting up the culture, the painting is displaying how American colonization and culture has appropriated Native American culture and twisted it to the point where it has lost its original meaning. On top of this, she layers, drips, and splatters this red paint over the collage materials to signify the anger, blood that has been shed, which has also been said through the Chrysler Museum. Thank you so much for listening to our podcast. Uh, we hope we were informative in what we talked about here today, and uh, have a good day.